Hey, what's up guys? Matt here doing a room tour. So this has been requested by quite a few people for quite a while now and uh, figured I'd go ahead and do this. I haven't done one since February and there's some stuff that has been updated and has definitely been moved around. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with the walls. So I'll just show you what's on my walls. So here I have a Star Wars poster, which is the only thing here. And I'm, I keep thinking about adding stuff to the side just to give it a little bit more stuff, but I don't know never have. <laughs> on this wall I have two pictures that I took for a class project of my car so that's the wheel and then that's a moving shot pretty cool. And then right here in the middle I have what is called an insta canvas and this is actually a service that takes your Instagram pictures and prints it onto a canvas so you can see it's actually a real print of one of the pictures I took and uh, it's pretty cool and pretty reasonably be reasonably priced as well I like it a lot on this wall, I have a license plate frame that came with one of the things from my car, my intake. Uh, I didn't want to put it on my car, so I just, I don't know, hung it up on the wall. Up there, I've got a, oh man, I should have looked this stuff up before I started this video. But those flag things that aren't actually flags, I have one of those that's from high school. Then I have another picture I took. You can't really see because of the glare, um, but that is more of an artistic picture. Then I have some awards here back from high school, so I have uh, three band awards and one water polo award. Believe it or not, I did water polo. Uh, let's go to this wall now. Here I have my badges and stuff from high school, uh, When, but I didn't get a letterman because I just I didn't feel like it and I didn't think I was ever going to wear it, which I didn't, yeah, so I just put them in here instead. Then I have this award, which is actually from when you were a senior in band. Now, our band won quite a few things. We actually won state championships, which is awesome. And instead of just keeping these awards and putting them in the band room, he decided to let the seniors, because we are the first graduating class from my high school ever, which is pretty cool as well, um, he decided to let us take one of these home. We got to choose which one we wanted. And I chose this one, which is Golden State Tournament of Bands, which is my favorite of the competitions we went to. Then I have a whole bunch of these, uh, I don't know, they, basically everything with lanyards on it. And then this is from graduation, my tassel. Doesn't live in you. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is a state championship. This is from when our concert hall was opened for the first time. This has actually been sitting here for like six years now, which is crazy. Oh, this is from Disneyland which is actually, they give you this pass, they give some people this pass when you get in line so that you can, um, they know how long the line is, but I accidentally forgot, I legitimately forgot to give them the pass back, so I have one of those. Then I have my TV up here, which is an Exignia, nothing fancy, I don't even think it's 1080p, but it's like a 32 inch, does the job, but I don't, I don't care about the TV that much. Above that I have the DirecTV box, don't get DirecTV if you can help it, and the, <clears throat> and the Apple TV. Okay, now let's go ahead and get to the stuff down here on the floor. So I have my bed here, just a full-size bed, nothing fancy. Underneath that I have a whole bunch of bins of stuff that I need to keep but never use, or at least occasionally use, maybe like once a year, maybe twice a year. So I just keep it all under there because I can't put it away like in the attic because I might need it. Here I have my nightstand, which is from Target, going on four years now, keeping up pretty strong. There's some scratches on this stuff. But besides that, it's doing pretty well. I have a clock, a Blue Lounge Milo, which is the plastic version, and sitting under there is the Apple TV remote. I have a coaster, direct TV remote, and TV remote. I won't go into that drawer. Nothing too crazy in there. Then underneath, I have some duct tape, Febreze, just some other random goodies. Now going to this corner, I have my box collection. Now normally you can see it a lot better, but I have some luggage here. But the box collection is just sitting there because I don't want to throw away boxes. No good reason to keep them, but I do. Then I have a suitcase, which I I keep out here just because I've been traveling lately and I'm going to be traveling again, so I figured just instead of putting it away, I'll just keep it out here because I'm going to need it. Then I have my camera bag, which is the Low Pro Fast Pack 350, which is great, car carries all my stuff carries a laptop, all that stuff, so whenever I'm traveling I put my camera in there and all my tech stuff works great. Then I have my backpack which I use for school right here, it's a uh, Under Armour one and uh, it's pretty cool, there's a lot of compartments, uh, 
that could do cool things like right here you can pull out a mat that if say it's wet you can pull out the mat and you won't get wet pretty cool I won't show you any of that though because it really takes forever to take out and put away next up I have a fan which actually points to me on the bed because I get really hot and I hate being hot so behind here I have a hat which a company sent me it's got the emoji on it uh, I did a video on this in one of my podcasts so you can go check that out it's a pretty funny hat but I don't really wear it so it's just back here uh, then I have the blue microphone Yeti which works but the gain control is broken so everything is completely blown out whenever I try to use it so can't use that anymore then I have the uh, AKG K44 headphones which I never use but they are uh, I got them for like really really cheap so I guess they're good to have around then I have all my school stuff but I'm not in class right now so uh, just sitting there this is all sitting on a table that I got at Walmart for like 20 bucks. I thought I was going to use it for videos, but I ended up not doing that. In front of that, I have my uh, monitor box, which has a really weird picture on it. This guy's hiding behind a couch from the monitor. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. But uh, I just haven't done anything with that, so that's where that's sitting. Then back here, I have a cutting board, and that was going to be used for a project, but I just never got around to it, so still sitting here. Then I have my clarinet in its case, and that little black thing is a clarinet stand, so when it's actually out, you can stand it up instead of laying it over. All right, let's get to my dresser. So this is a dresser from uh, Target, going on four years, like I said, and uh, holding up pretty well, though I do want to get one that's tall rather than sideways because uh, it should take up less room, at least on the floor. But yeah, doing pretty good here. Uh, then I have a whole bunch of boxes for stuff I'm gonna review pretty soon and a few products. So this is a case and a uh, stand for the iPad mini that company sent me. Uh, I've got a review of that soon. This is the Nikon Coolpix P7700 box, which is actually what I'm using to record this. Uh, great, great camera, love it. Review on that should be coming soon. The Logitech C920 box, which is a webcam, 1080p, 720p, great webcam. The Blue Spark which is a the microphone I'm using. Now this box is actually worth keeping and I'll show that off in my review, but it's a pretty awesome box. Here I have my pop filter, which I do use, but it's too big, so I just take it off when I'm not using it and put it over here. When I need it, I'll just put it on the mic. Then I have the uh, 18 to 55 kit lens, which I use for a lot of my shots. Why this is not focusing, I couldn't tell you, but that is the kit lens. Uh, here we have pretty much the stuff I carry all the time. So this is what I take with me every day. I have my glasses, which I only really use when I'm driving uh, because I just don't like wearing them. They're annoying. Then I have my sunglasses, which are the uh, Dylan Optics uh, sunglasses, and they are amazing. Best sunglasses out there, and I have a review on those. I have my keys, and a few people have asked if I would do a tour of my car, and if you guys want to see that, I, I guess I could do that. That would be a fun video to make. I have an iPhone case, which I put on my phone when I'm leaving the house. My wallet, which is the Dash wallet, have a review on that. And my ear pods, which are my uh, daily earphones. Alrighty. Oh, this is the Blue Lounge Nest. Got some pennies in there and some chapstick. Alright, now let's go ahead and get to what could be the good stuff. So I have my lighting set up. Let's start with that. I have one light there, one light there, and one light there. And that's usually where I set them up when I'm actually using them, so I figured just store them there as well instead of bunching them all together and taking them all apart every time. This would be a little bit easier. So now next to this light over here, I have my camera, which is the Nikon D7000. And this has a Nikon 35 millimeter on it right now. Then below that, it's sitting on a Velbon head, which is my fluid head. Pretty cheap and does the job. And the tripod is a Vanguard Ultra Pro 263AT, which I have a review on. Great tripod. Here on the windowsill, I have a picture of me and my friends. I have some Android figurines. I have a Giotis Rocket Air. So what this does is it actually blows air. So if you want to get dust off cameras, you can go ahead and just blow it off like that. Works better than rubbing it into the lens. I have a micro... SD adapter here, then I have a SD card, I have a water, and some lens caps and some coins. Going to this windowsill, I have my iPhone 5 box, Nexus 4 box, 
and a Nikon lens mug. Then behind that I have the aluminum Milo stand and the Jawbone Up charger. But I actually left that at Ryan's when I visited him. So I don't have the Jawbone Up right now, but he should be bringing that back pretty soon. Then on this side I have the Steve Jobs book. Now let's get into uh, this little bin here. This is kind of where I keep everything. So here on top I have my Magic Trackpad box. I have these little fruities, they're magic fruities. I forgot what the fruit is called, but anyway, these are little tablets and you take them and basically it turns anything that's sour, it turns it sweet. So it's awesome, it works 100%, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. If you have a chance to try it, do it. I have an HTC sticker, which I forgot to put back in the box when I returned it. I have a my knife, this is a Kershaw Leak, pretty cool, needs sharpening, but stood up the test of time so far. I have a microfiber here which I just use for my screens and stuff. Then beneath that I have a microfiber which I've never actually used but I bought it like at the Dollar Tree or something. Then I have a folder and a whole bunch of music from back in high school. Now in this lens, or not lens, but bin, let's see if I can pull it out here. It looks like a mess and it is but I kinda know everything that's in here so I can find it pretty easily. I have the blue icicle which I use as my interface for plugging in the blue spark into my computer works pretty well this is actually pretty awesome although it is kinda expensive but I'll have a review on this along with the blue spark I have a GoPro Hero 2 in here love this thing I want to get a Hero 3 I don't need a Hero 3 but if I want one it's one of those things got the life proof case which I don't use all the time but I do use it sometimes so got it in here got some pencils and stuff just a whole bunch of stuff. I got the Nexus 4 charger. A whole bunch of stuff in here that I need. I use on a regular basis. Just don't want them laying around the room. Now in the next one I have a whole bunch more stuff kind of like that but I never use it so it's just this is just more for storage. I got a mini tripod here. I can't even open this to be honest so I'm not even going to try. Now let's go ahead and go to the bottom one which is a whole bunch of GoPro stuff. So I have a lot of GoPro accessories and that is what is in there. I can't even open this one as you can see. But that's what's in there. So here on the desk, I have the Blue Spark. So this is an amazing microphone. I love it. This is the Blue Spark here. Got a pop filter, which sucks. It doesn't do anything. That's why I have to use the other one. The uh, shock mount works, but it's not the best. And this is sitting on a Samson stand. Don't know uh, the model number off the top of my head, but works pretty well. Right here I have my iPad mini running iOS 7. There you can see it. I love it. The iPad mini is an amazing tablet. Let me go and turn on my computer there. Uh, over here I have my iPhone 5, which is also running iOS 7. Let's just get my code in there. iOS 7. Love iOS 7. The more I use it, the more I like it. Here's my laptop, which is powering this monitor. This is a 13-inch uh, i7 2.7 gigahertz 2011 model with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 120 gigabyte SSD, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. So it's pretty much a beast, and uh, I love it. Here I have my monitor, which is the newest addition to the uh, tech family here I have in my house. And this is an AOC 27-inch monitor. I don't have the uh, model number off the top of my head, but um, it's a great monitor and it's only 1080p but it it works and I actually haven't noticed any degradation in quality or anything even though it's 1080p uh, the the ones that are higher pixel density are just way too expensive so I went with this and I don't know why I didn't do it earlier because this is awesome and I'm never going back here I have my webcam which is the Logitech C920 shoots HD 1080p 720p all that good stuff it is a great webcam down here I have the Nexus 4, which you can see there. Nexus 4. It's running Cyanogen Mod right now, just kind of stock. I haven't done anything to it. Then right here I have a knockoff keyboard. It's supposed to look like the Apple keyboard, kind of does, although it's a different size. Uh, and it was like 20 bucks, so I, it works. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy, but it works. Here I have the Magic Trackpad. This is the real Magic Trackpad, nothing knockoff here. Uh, and I like this because I like it more than I like trackpads, or sorry, my mice. Let's pull the chair out here. I think I got this chair at Costco a while ago. It's 
actually probably time to get a new chair, but it works for now. Now underneath the desk, you can see I have my speakers, and this is the Carbon Carden Sound 6 III, and uh, you can actually see that they're attached to the legs. And the reason I did that is just so they would get off of the tabletop. The sound quality is a tiny, tiny bit muffled, nothing crazy, still sounds great. So that works for me. Then I have all the cables there, pretty messy, but at least if you're standing like this, you can't really see them, so that is good. Last but not least, I've got my plugs here, one for my iPhone. This is usually put away for the computer, but um, because I'm traveling, I just decided to keep it out instead of trying to wrangle it out every time. And I think that is it. So yes, that is it. That is my room. This is the room tour for June and July. I hope you guys enjoyed, a little bit long, but you guys requested this, so here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you want to see uh, other tours, like of my car or something, maybe, I don't know, let me know and I can do that kind of stuff. That would be a fun video to make. And this is my room. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.